Internal anatomy would normally start at the head end with the brain, which is a really important organ. Not much we can do uh, when we're and looking at the, the brain, we can't hear it, we can't touch it, we can't see it. So up there, we don't really know what's going on in there, uh, but this is where the brain would be. The spinal cord will run from the brain all the way down to the tail through a nice cage that the, the vertebrae have for it and, and keep it hopefully nice and, nice and safe in there. Moving down, when you go to the vets, you'll notice that they will examine your animal by um, the internal organs examination by listening to the chest and then feeling in the abdomen. So on the, in the chest, the main two organs that we have in there are the heart, which lays on the side roughly where the elbow meets the body wall. So when you bring the elbow back, you slide it back and it meets the, the chest there. This is roughly where the heart is. Normally lays between ribs three and six of the chest. The lungs will be on both sides as they are with us and, and they will lay all the way back through the chest cavity. When you come to the abdomen or what you may call the, the stomach, but it isn't just the stomach that lives in here, you have the stomach which is fairly high up in the animal and is often just within inside the, the rib cage as well, although it is in the abdominal section, the abdominal uh, cavity of, of the animal. So the stomach lays quite, quite high up in the abdomen, what we would say it's cranially. You then have the, the liver that is also in the same spot there in the, in the abdomen. The liver lobes, there are several liver lobes in animals. It can vary from species to species as to how many lobes there may be, but sometimes you'll be able to feel them when you're ab abdominally palpating an animal and sometimes you won't. It's just whatever's normal for that animal. Coming further back, higher up on each side, we have the kidneys. So we have a, a left kidney, and a right kidney. The right kidney is always slightly further forward than the, than the left kidney is in, in all animals. And again, when you're palpating in the abdomen, you may or may not feel those, and it may be a sign that there's something wrong if you can feel them, but you normally couldn't. Further back, we have the intestines, the small intestines, which come from the stomach, and then move into the large intestine. In certain species, there is also a cecum. Uh, other species, there, there isn't a cecum. Again, your vet will be feeling for that depending on what animal you've brought in for them. We then have the bladder, which if it's full, is normally palpable in, in most animals. Um, if it's empty, you tend not to be able to feel it. Further back, you have, in male animals, you have the prostate gland. And again, may or may not be able to feel that depending on the species and also depending on if there's something wrong with it or not. Uh, then further back from there, you have the colon, which is the end of the large intestine, and then obviously the rectum where that is the end of the animal.